Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over what I do on a day-to-day -day basis in tax. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. So without further ado, let's get started. I wanted to show you what my day typically looks like through a pie chart. 75% of my work that I do is actually through the preparation and review of tax returns. So to give you a breakdown on the day to day, I do focus heavily on C Corps, which file 1120, S Corps that file 1120S, partnerships and LLCs that file a 1065 and a little bit of individual returns that file a 1040. So those are the tax returns that I typically look at, whether it's through the prep or the review of those type of returns. In this process, you have your own team, which is usually structured with an intern or an associate doing the prep work. Then you have the senior manager review it initially and then you have a second or third review from a director a senior manager or a partner and that's typically how the process goes you're also communicating not only with your internal team but with the audit team for information from them you're also talking to your clients and you're also talking to people such as your specialist team and if you have teams overseas that do help in the prep or review of these returns. So it's not simply just putting the numbers from the trial balance into the return, but there are other additional supporting work papers that we do that you don't really see on the tax return itself. And these are typically called work papers. Most of them are based in Excel. And what we do is we get the book income from the trial balance, layer in the adjustments that are considered to be M1s to get our taxable income. With this information, we then can use to put the taxable income into the return. Depending on the size of the firm you're at, you can have a huge client that you're working on by itself and working that throughout the whole day, or you can be picking up multiple clients and working on that throughout the whole day. So it really depends on the size of your client. What also is included in this whole process is the preparation and review of extensions, whether that be the calc or the vouchers, estimates that are made throughout the year for the following tax year, responding to notices. So sometimes the state or the IRS will audit the return and they might come up with their own calculations and from that you could either dispute it or you can accept what they have calculated as the new tax due. So those are things that you can also be doing in this process as it does relate to the tax return. The next thing that I want to talk about, 7% of my time is really spent on meetings. So this could be meetings that are tax department meetings, firm wide meetings, it could be with the client or it could be with other team members. Most of the time these meetings are mandatory and for a good reason, a lot of the time there is a lot of value that comes out of these meetings. About 6% of the time is spent in trainings and this is usually CPE trainings and this helps maintain your license and it also helps you stay up to date on what's going on in tax and the changes that happen. For instance, when the 2017 Tax Cut and Jobs Act was passed, it it caused a lot of changes in tax rules and we needed to quickly adapt to those changes. The more trainings that you have inside of your company, the better because then you don't need to spend your own personal money doing the trainings in order to maintain the license. I would say that typically public accounting firms will invest more in terms of training than if you went into private accounting, but it really depends on the company at the end of the day. Next, I want to say I spend 5% in terms of planning, budgeting, making sure that they're staffing on engagements. And this is something that you do as you move up. In the first or second year, you won't really have any responsibility when it comes to budgeting other than trying to make sure you stay under your own budget. So usually when you become a manager, that's when you'll be in charge of budgeting for the engagement and making sure that you plan as well. But that's also something that you can do as a senior. Next, about 4% of my time I spend on provisions. This is typically at certain times of the tax year, depending on the physical year end of your client. 
but you're looking ahead before the tax filing to see what the tax due is as well as the taxable income, where they can see if there are any material M1s that they need to consider. And this is usually different from the tax return, especially because it's using estimates. The very last thing is about 3% of my time is spent on emails as well as administrative tasks giving feedback, receiving feedback that is typically done at least twice a year as well as getting to know the team, whether that be team building, events for a charity as well. So that concludes this video. That's typically what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!